What is up guys, Zane from the Zane Madden channel. In today's video, we are gonna show you a playbook specific bomb from the bunch. Yes, hashtag Zan Bunch is in the comments below. But before we get into the video, guys, please make sure you guys do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of the uploads I've got coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna watch me play Madden live, check me out on the Twitch platform, twitch.tv slash ozano. I do have exclusive subscriber only content for my tier one and Twitch Prime subscribers over there. In fact, today I am working on defensive content that I will be giving to you guys. I'll be actually going live this afternoon and evening. Uh, so if you guys wanna subscribe over there, I will be working on some defensive stuff for you guys as well. And also, as you guys know, I'm working on the Washington Redskins game plan here on offense. It is a hot route master offense, and I will be grandfathering in any tier one or Twitch Prime subscribers to give you guys that game plan when it goes live. Once it goes live, it will be a tier two and above subscription that will get that game plan. So if you guys wanna get in, you technically can get this for free if you have Amazon Prime, just link it to your Twitch account and you guys will get grandfathered in. Okay, Zan, shut up, quit trying to sell us stuff, get into the content. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Bunch offset out of the Washington Redskins playbook. As you guys know, I'm really living in the jumbo stuff right now with two receivers. I'm actually getting a receiver at tight end as well. So it's a three tight end set with an actual receiver at tight end. So technically two tight ends, two receivers. But when I need to throw, I do need some three receiver stuff on the field. And I think that this bunch offset and the player we'll be looking at is deep dig. Now, when you take a look at it at face value, it's kind of like, okay, really, what are you looking at here? Deep dig. Um, what I'm looking at on this play is you have two things that are unique that you will not find in any other bunch. Um, so we go ahead and call this here. This is amazing to run against cover three. As we all know, the big nickel over G, cover three sky, set it and forget it. You'll face it no matter what mode you play. If you play Mud Unlimited, if you play regular teams, if you play LCQ salary cap, you're gonna face the set it and forget it. Cover three sky out of big nickel over G. You also face cover three sky, set it and forget it out of odd. You face it out of bear. You face it out of pretty much every formation in the game. Really, really popular coverage because it defends, it defends well. So what we're going to notice here is the first thing that stands out is bunch to the wide side and your fastest receiver needs to be the right bumper. That's R1 on the PlayStation. And he is on a old school fade. Now my old school Madden heads, you guys know what an old school fade is. That is a fade that really gets depth and it also gets width on the, the angles it bends to the outside if we were to compare that to say a streak you actually take a look at where this route is relative to the hash mark on the right see how it really gets away from that hash mark compare that to an actual streak in madden that runs right down the hash mark compare that to the bs hot routed fade that's actually madden which is really not that much different than an actual streak route um obviously ea has taken some considerate measures to kind of nerf these old school fades but there are some to be found and if you guys package it right with the right route combinations, you can absolutely destroy cover three. So all we're gonna do here is block the running back, put the B receiver on a high route master corner. And if you want to go ahead and motion snap your corner route to the outside, snap the ball. And what you're gonna see is just wide open outside pass lead for a one play score on this fade. And the reason is, is that the free safety cannot make this play. He just cannot make this play. Now in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put Earl Thomas a little bit closer to center field. Uh, you will see players that will do that. That is an adjustment people can make. Go ahead and run the same example here and uh, kind of show you. People will try to do this. See that he's going to try to play it. Again, though, you still have that outside lead. Now, keep in mind, Brady has the, the pass lead ability. I cannot actually physically throw this ball outside pass lead because of Brady's pass lead ability. So for the purpose of practice mode, this is broken. But in Mutt, I use Doug Williams. Who do, you don't have to put that pass lead ability on it. And that's gonna allow you to actually throw the ball further to the outside. So this tip actually works when they do put uh, their free safety in center field. So if I were to go ahead and put Earl Thomas here, just keep in mind that in practice mode, you play regs. And that's how I try to show you guys this in the videos. Um, with regs, Brady has the package of abilities that he has, and that's just the way it is. So Brady's pocket lead ability or his pass lead elite ability basically in, it prohibits us from actually throwing this ball further to the outside. What I'm saying is that the pass lead ability on Brady right here hampers our ability to throw this ball into this area of the field, uh, as opposed to what his ability does is you see it throws it a little bit too narrow. So a Doug Williams, a guy with actually more throw power as well and no pass lead ability, he's gonna put it out in this area of the field rather than close enough to that free safety. So 
what I'm trying to say to you guys is that even if they put that free safety in the middle of the field, you should still be able to attack him pretty easily. Now, the other thing that you can do, guys, on this play, um, if you're having trouble with conflict, and again, Brady's pass lead ability is not going to show this to you, but you can put the backside receiver on a hot route master post. That's going to try to pull him back a little bit to the left and open up this throw a little bit more for you. You see right here that if Brady just had a little bit more throw power, uh, that's an easy walk-in. Instead, it's a it's still a walk-in, but it's, it was just a little bit scarier. So even if they move that guy down in center field and you want to play with the Patriots and regs and run this offense, that's your that's your counter to the counter. So um, really, and long story short, Mutt, it's not a problem because you're not going to use the pass lead ability. But let's say you do want to use the pass lead ability. A backside skinny post will take that guy and make it so you can actually make that throw. Plus, in practice mode, Brady doesn't have 99 throw power. And Mutt, Doug Williams, or whoever you're going to use is probably going to have that 99 throw power. So that is the fade. Really, really easy. Now, we're not done. With this play, the other thing that really stands out is you have a tight end hitch. I mean, what formations have a tight end hitch? Um, they are stock routes that you have to have if you want them. Um, you can't just, you know, take Watson and put him on a hitch. I'll show you even with the high round master. In, streak, out, curl, flat, pass block, smart route, block and release, delay fade, block and release flat, drag, cross trail. He's got a lot of routes. None of them are hitches is what I'm getting at here. So this little baby hitch is so great because when you think about the bunch, right? You think about the one play scores. A lot of times it's either one play score that involves both receivers or you're using a receiver on a hitch and trying to throw, you know, like a, a motion post over the middle. Like a lot of times you don't get that sideline bomb with the, with an actual hitch involved in the play as well. So uh, this is one of those setups where now it gets that cover three if they're really back backing off. I mean, you just have the ability to throw this little baby hitch and pick up seven, eight yards underneath to a tight end. And it's not even a hot route. This play is so well equipped to be just a quick snap bomb with basically block the running back and one adjustment. And what they're going to end up doing is really overusing. And if you can imagine that hook defender chasing, you just throw this little baby hitch. I mean, it's it's seven, eight, nine, ten yards, depending on who you have at that spot uh, to be able to make that play happen. Now. Let's imagine just for uh, for a minute that your opponent decides with, say, this linebacker, let's pretend uh, on Muasor is maybe a user or whatever, and they decide to chase. That's going to open up the hitch to, to A, as we've shown. Let's say that they decide to sit on the hitch. Obviously, they better have this free safety over the top to be able to make this play over here on Dorset. So maybe they rotate this guy over here. Now, all of a sudden, you've got the deep dig, the, the, the actual route that the play is kind of named after, even though the B receiver is actually on a dig as well. But you have the backside deep dig that's going to really fall into that hole in that zone. So you see right here, I'm not going to be able to make that throw because we got a, a block shed. That backside dig hits the hits the timing window of this play so well that you're going to be able to really uh, give them trouble. So let me go ahead and put that guy back in coverage here on the on the hitch. Now you're going to see that, you know, let's say that, you know, they're defending the rollout. Now, all of a sudden, you got this deep dig. You just throw that ball over the top. You've got, you know, the backside backbreaker route that everyone uses no matter what offense they run. You guys have seen how a, a 15 to 20 yard in route over the middle is one of the hardest things to defend, especially on third and fourth and long. Um, now they have to contend with a hitch. They have to contend with a quick snap bomb with a, a fade that is not a hot route fade. Um, they've got to think about this differently. And then that backside route just absolutely destroys them. So this is the play deep dig. It is in the bunch offset formation in the Redskins. Yes. Hashtag Zan bunch. Like I said, guys, this is a great play. You guys should absolutely be adding it to your repertoire it is a quick cover three bomb. If you find yourself facing cover three, set it and forget it. You're going to be able to really air it out like this. Uh, pretty consistently against the cover three. And I know you guys face plenty of big nickel over G. So I wanted to hop in the lab and find something for you guys. And uh, this is what we came out with. Again, guys, this is in the Washington Redskins playbook, hot route master offense. Uh, this is something that is three receivers. You guys know I'm a jumbo guy. So I wanted to go ahead and throw this on the YouTube channel for free. But again, guys, if you guys want to support me and uh, check out that jumbo offense that I'm working on, I will be giving it to you guys on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash O. Link is in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.